So when you come to the wolf exhibit at Stone Zoo, it's a very natural exhibit. A pack of wolves is going to consist of the alpha pair, which is the dominant pair, male and female, and then the rest of the pack is their offspring. Only the alpha pair will breed. And then as the pack gets to a size where it outgrows itself, the alpha pair will force animals out of that pack to keep the pack a smaller number. Wolves actually have a lot more behaviors and vocalizations that they do. And some of the vocalizations we hear daily at the zoo, not just the howl. One of the things you'll hear a lot of times is a whimpering. And that's basically the subordinate wolf is going to whimper at the dominant wolf, especially when they run by each other. So when you come to the Stone Zoo and you want to know which wolf is in charge that day, you just look for the animal that has its tail straight up in the air. The wolf that has its tail tucked between its legs is the most subordinate animal. And you'll see all the rest of them will be somewhere in between that. Researchers realized that the Mexican gray wolf population was on the brink of extinction. The number kicking around was 17 when they started the captive breeding program. Now there are at least three packs of wolves in the wild that have all been released from captive stock in the United States. The last number I heard is there's over 500 wolves between the wild and captivity.